making sure I got my stone sword equipped real quick though. You know what I'm saying? Impressed ass pig. Ruben! Damn, Charles. Buddy, pal. Don't run off on me like that, okay? <laughs> This armor, though. Tatra didn't mean it, Ruben. She's just not herself right now. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I wish she would get better, too. The world needs us, Ruben. So much of it has already been reduced to bedrock, and it's up to us to save the rest of it. You ready for this, boy? There is a lot of pressure for just a person and a pig, but we have to find a way. Come on, buddy. I forgot I could walk faster. Look, mother father. Why am I stuck in this wall? Where is he? Oh. Who is he? Oh, he's talking to Ivor, isn't he? You dirty rat. I should have went the way that Ruben started looking. did that by locking the command block away so only you could use it wow Soren, you need to listen to me oh what good has ever come of that haven't you done enough ivor like say single-handedly destroying the entire world well technically i set in motion a series of events whose end result appears it's to be the same thing what you don't understand is, you are all in very grave danger. What? Uh, 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 obviously! No, I mean specifically this group. Because of Petra? storm isn't acting randomly. It's following Gabriel. Gabriel? You see, I may have programmed it to follow his amulet. You mean what? the Order's amulet? Yes, sorry. That oh, great. Helicopter. Oh, guys can't hear that. Did you also know I was the one he gave the amulet to? What? I... I didn't know. Ah, oh, Ivor, you fool. You've created a monster that's following Jesse, and it's only getting stronger. You don't think I realize that? Nothing can stop those things. Nothing even hurts them. We well, gotta try. Except Enderman. Enderman? Jesse's right. Withers gaze passed over them, and they went wild. We actually just saw a bunch of Endermen pull blocks off a Witherstorm. So... So, enough of them working together might be able to destroy a Witherstorm entirely. It's a promising concept, at least in theory. Could you coordinate the Endermen somehow? Make them attack all at once? If I know my Endermen, all we'd need to do is get them into the storm's vicinity. In fact... There's probably more than enough of them still in my fortress. Oh, time to go back. An unintended side effect of you flooding the end. This is just like the old days, Soren. You and your crazy ideas. Hush, Ivor, for once. <laughs> Question is, how to bring the storms and the Endermen together? Endermen aren't pets. They don't follow orders. At least, not from mere mortals. We know for a fact the Witherstorm will follow the amulet, so. If we take the amulet back to your fortress where the Endermen are... Yes. Yes, that's it. Yeah. We'll lead them straight into a massive trap. That'd be hard dodging that shit, though. We bring the Endermen to the Witherstorms. We bring the Witherstorms to the Endermen. Just one problem. You're forgetting about the command block. Ugh. Yes. But it's clear now that no weapon can destroy it. Not even a Formidabomb. Actually, I may have a solution to that. What? You see, when I first took possession of the command block... You mean, stole it? Yes, well, I created a failsafe. Why haven't you used it? Plan, just in case. Well, I'd say just in case is here. What kind of failsafe exactly? An enchanting book. One that contains the power of the command block itself. Okay. Use it to enchant a weapon. And you'll be able to smash the command block to bits. Forever. Yes. Yes, that's it. It could 
very well solve all our problems. What are we waiting for? Let's go get that book. Just one problem. It's at my secret lab, which is sort of far away. But how far could it possibly be? Let's just say it's the farthest place a person can travel before being utterly... Oh dear, what was that? Where the storm? They're here. Cue the Bray Wyatt music. I can't believe it found us so quickly. It just keeps coming for us. Well, we can't stand around and wait for it. Guys, I have a plan. We're going to Ivor's secret laboratory to try to craft a... Ivor! It is you! <laughs> Good to see you too, Magnus. Poncho. Hello. My name is Gabriel. Somebody pinch me. Anyway, Ivor's figured out the Witherstorms are drawn to the amulet, so we're gonna lure them back to Soren's fortress and destroy the command block with an enchanted super weapon. Yep. You figured all that out just now? The point is we need to get moving. We aren't safe. Not as long as we have that amulet. I'll go alone. I'll take it. No, buddy. You can't. I can, and I have to. There's no way I can let you do that, Axel. You don't understand. I'm not asking. Hello? I thought you'd trust me by now. It's not that I trust you. I want to do it myself, asshole. You just go make that super weapon. I'll meet you back at Soren's fortress. Well, Axel shouldn't have to do this alone. I'm coming with you, man. Nice. Great. The two least well, trustworthy I'm going people. With Jesse, I, I pledge to help, and that's what I must do. But Lucas is out there all by himself. Go find him. There's Go find your boyfriend. You for him now. Everyone, take good care of yourselves. You too. I didn't want to give it to him hey, because, Jesse, yeah. Let's try our handshake again, just once for the road. The redstone wrap, you got it. Oh no. I just realized we haven't got the uh <laughs> the title screen yet. I'll see you at Soren's, alright? Not if I see you first. What? There it is. There's the title screen. Or the opening credit thing, whatever the hell they call them. In association with Mojang. Mojang. It's Mojang. Can we go any faster? Not unless you have a mine card. I mean, but there's like no tracks. Minecraft story mode. Oh. Episode 4. I forgot the title. A Telltale Story by Brad Kane, Brian F Freyer Month. Episode directed by Graham Ross, Cactus. I forgot her name. Art Direction, Mark Hammer. Or is it Hammer? Much longer, right? No, not too much longer. Environments Jeff Parrot. Perro. I'm sorry if I botched your name. You're not even watching this. Ice blocks. In the winter. Animation. Jeff sorry. Saray. I'm sorry. Choreography. Jason Pike. Yeah. It's like a deep forest biome. Yep, the, the jungle, jungle biome. Jeez, man. Going through like all the biomes. Music by Anadel, Antimo, and Wells. Oh no, my pick's going to sleep. It's gonna, okay. This mother father. I think the next one, if they give me one, I'm not going to say anything. Yep. 
wool or or uh whatever the hell that thing is i forget what it's called ender no bedrock not bedrock obsidian ha ah, shit it's been too long my rear end is profoundly sore feels like we've been riding forever I am telling you, we cannot go to the Far Lands. They're not just the edge of our world, but the limits of our comprehension. Oh, please. The Far Lands are a happy accident. Nature's way of keeping life interesting. No, no, no. They are perilous and unpredictable. Pearl and noise, floating points. These are not matters to be toyed with. Hold on, back up. What exactly are the Far Lands? Yeah. Are you being serious? I am. The Far Lands lie at the very edge of all things. Where logic gives way to chaos, they're a dangerous place to visit, and a ridiculous place to construct a laboratory. <laughs> laboratory. Just wait until you see it. Do those two never stop arguing? I don't know. I'm too hungry to care. Uh -huh. No kidding. I'm starving. Maybe we should turn back. Oh, there is a pig. I'm this joking. Isn't the time. Swamps are too dangerous. You never know what might be lurking around. What was that? My nice. stomach. Yep. Let's look around. See what we could find out. We're a swamp, so we could possibly we get apples. The far lands are just beyond this swamp. So this could be our last chance to find food? Oh, I'm gonna have to divvy up food, aren't I? Oh shit. No, where you wait where the hell are you going? Take your ass back. Open go punch this punch this block. Wait, swamp land. No, fuck it. Whatever. I'm in the swamp lands. Looking for some food. I'm about to punch grass. Take a potato. Potato, you're coming with me. Not much, but it'll help. I got one potato, two potatoes. I'm only going to get like, like three say, potatoes. Two Watch. Potatoes is better than one. I think they say that. Don't stop right here, bro. Hey, Probably take what I have back to the group. But why? Bro. We got two potatoes. We can't do shit with two potatoes. I can divvy it up between, what, two people? Two of what are six people, I think we have. I want to go to the swamp water, bro. Alright. Talk. Anyone doing okay? Not really. We're starving. All right. Check out what I found. A potato. Incredible. Hey, at least it's food. Potato number two coming your way. Can I have this one? Oh, you had the last one. No, he didn't. Oh, yeah, you take. Oh, he did. I'm Sorin, not Ivor. <laughs> right, of course you are. Damn. Tread lightly. I don't see nothing in this water that can kill me. Gonna come get this potato cause I'm hungry. Hey. Mm, potatoes. Oh, I chose eat. Oh crap, I didn't mean to do that. Totally not what I wanted to do. Oh, I see mushrooms over there. Gotcha, potato. I totally accidentally hit X. I know this is like a witch's hut. Yep. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Stay away. Stay far away. A witch's hut. Yeah. We should steer clear of it. Jesus. Nothing good ever happens when witches are involved. Look, a cake. That's that's enough to feed everyone. It isn't worth it, Jesse. Witches hate trespassers. Besides. There are plenty of potatoes around. Is that a witch? Yep. Jesse, we shouldn't be here. Witches are very strong. I'm, I'm taking the cake. Can't pass this up. This is my cake, I bro. Want you to watch my back, okay? He's gonna run. I'm 